It's been just about four months since the Disney Dreamlight Valley community was graced with the downloadable content A Rift in Time. I feel this has given me enough time to develop well-thought opinions and decide whether I recommend you to buy the game or save your money. Hey there, it's Teresa of Erised, a cozy gaming and hobby content creator. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a like, but today we are going over my true opinion of the downloadable content that came to Disney Dreamlight Valley when the game left early access back in December of 2023. Before I begin, make sure to stay until the end of the video to hear if I recommend you to purchase the expansion or if I actually feel it's not worth it. First, we're gonna get into what the Rift in Time DLC actually is. If you only have the base game, you currently have the Valley World. This has eight biomes. The Dreamlight Castle with multiple movie-specific realms to open, companion critters to befriend, and much more. But the DLC opens an entirely new world named Eternity Isle. If you ask me, Eternally Isle doubles the gameplay space of the valley and essentially gives us an entirely new game with brand new quests, characters, meals, foraging items, biomes, and much more. One thing I don't absolutely love about the downloadable content is that even if you don't purchase it, your villagers may have items for Eternity Isle as their favorites for the day, making it more difficult to either level up your villagers or complete star path quests. Let me explain. One of the star path quests I have is to give Mirabelle her favorite gifts five times. However, the gifts on a specific day may only include items from Eternity Isle. So if you don't have the DLC, then you would have to wait until the following day for new favorite gifts to appear and potentially delay your completion of the star path. If you don't already know, I currently play Disney Dreamlight Valley on two different platforms. I have my PC save that is fully completed and my Nintendo Switch save that has a fully unlocked valley. However, I have not unlocked all the realms, nor have I completed all the Eternity Isle quests or unlocked the biomes over there. With all that being said, I have experienced the DLC from both a completed game perspective and a currently working game perspective. And if I'm being completely 100% honest, I am overwhelmed on both platforms. First, for the PC save, it's honestly like unlocking an entirely new game. And on my Switch save, because I already feel super behind, and now all of these new characters, quests, meals, etc. are coming into the game, I feel as if I'm never going to be able to fully complete the game and I'm even more behind than I was with just the valley. Now, even though I am overwhelmed, I do have to say I think having players be stressed out over the new additions to the game is actually a good thing. Hear me out. Receiving a new content release on the game is amazing, but sometimes doesn't have that much new content, especially if it is free. Paying for a downloadable content, you want the game to be getting a major revamp so you can get your money's worth. When starting a DLC, I want to feel as if I'm playing an entirely new game and just learning how to play that game. And the developers, of Disney Dreamlight Valley and A Rift in Time nailed this on the head that is exactly what this downloadable content does. The storylines and friendship quests really build upon the story while in the DLC and make the game honestly worth playing. The developers did an amazing job at creating the characters just as they are in the Disney movies and intertwined all of the storylines within the game so well. At this time, we have received Act 1 of 3 in the Rift in Time downloadable content named Welcome to Eternity Isle. 
This was released when the game came out of beta in December of 2023. The second act is named The Spark of Imagination that is to be released in the spring of 2024, which if I had to make a hypothesis, I would say that update is coming in May. Along with that update, we are going to be seeing a brand new Lucky Villager. We currently don't have any more details about who that villager will be, but I'm sure sooner rather than later, we will be receiving some definite answers. A Rift in Time DLC will wrap up in the summer 2024 update with Act 3 named Treasures of Time, where we will finish the storyline with Jafar and completely fix the Rift in Time. If we look at this realistically, when I bought a Rift in Time, it cost just about $30. I was super bummed about having to pay an additional cost to play the DLC. But in the end, I have played this game more hours than I ever thought I would. It has completely exceeded my expectations and I think it's honestly worth the price. If you haven't bought a Rift in Time yet, I would highly suggest you buy it to continue the storylines in the valley and open your inventory to even more items, meals, characters, and so much more. As I mentioned earlier, it did take me about four months to make this video, but I really wanted to take my time before making it. Some may say I'm a little too late, but I wanted to curate thoughts and opinions cautiously to make sure I fully agree that everyone should play the game, and also purchase the DLC. Yes, the quests do get repetitive and a little bit of a nuisance, but at this time, I just truly enjoyed decorating, completing dream snaps, and having a place to escape with all of my favorite Disney characters. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below and let me know who you think is the very lucky villager who is next to grace our valleys. Please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, did you know that I stream multiple times a week and those times are always posted here on YouTube and in my Discord, which is linked in the description box below. I truly hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you to make the decision on if you should buy the Rift in Time DLC. Thank you so much for watching. This is Teresa signing off. Bye.